Casting a shadow right there. I assume that's what that is. Might be something else. Uh, might be just a tool or something, but uh, that's what it looked like to me. It matches perfectly what would be the shadow casting on this thing. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you that. They're very artistic. They like to show off their, their stuff. Look at that pair of eyes right there. But if you look the whole pictures, they always have eyes. The eyes of anything has always had eyes. I guess for them it's important. The eyes are, I guess, the window to the soul. Apparently they value the eyes a lot because it shows over and over everywhere. gonna be that showing the eyes see from far away those lines look like cracks but they're not the tools Check it out. They are tubes and they are above the ground. They're not into the ground or on the ground. It's above the ground. What they're using for, I don't know. NASA insists that those are cracks and fissures. Nah. NASA, never a straight answer. That's what the four letters stand. Look at the pair of eyes once again, right there. Boom, boom. And there's another one here that matches this one. And there's another one, these two matches. This two matches, this two matches, and this two, it's like everything matches. This is like a crocodile head right here, up here. Amazing how these people can do all these things. Our scientists, well, or either 
they are intimidated or they are stupid. Or you cannot tell them anything about ETs or UFO because immediately they, they think you're nuts. That you have been smoking some shit or tripping. And even if you show them this, they will still deny it and they'll still argue with you. And most of the people are like that too. People do not want to accept because that's what the government has instilled in the people's head. That anybody that speaks of UFOs or ETs or any of this is, is conspiranoia. That's what they call it. You have a conspiranoia bullshit on your head. Yeah. And none of this matter. She, well, maybe once or twice, but you find it in every planet, in every moon. Oh, come on now. You have to be just an a, a, a entrenched stupid idiot to keep believing the government all the lies. Just ask yourself why NASA has never ever published a high definition, a very high definition which they have of anything ever because of that, because it will show this shit. I'm showing you eyes right there. It's, I mean, it's they, they blur and smudge this picture, and even so, it's still showing the stuff. It's just that from far away you can see nothing, and now you enlarge the image 800%, then you, wow, that's totally different to what I see from far away. Oh, yeah. Eyes. Like I say, this entity value eyes a lot. This bottle, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18 pair of eyes and probably more because the picture is smudged to death. But uh, clearly you can see there's two right here, there's two right here, two right here, two right here, right here, right here, and it just keeps going and going and going. And there is a big ass structure here you can see the, the silhouette. I mean, some big structures. All you have to do is darken the picture and wow, and you get blown away. And a lot of the structures are made of glass. Because glass is a um, it's a material that you can mold it into anything and you can do all kinds of effects. Block UV rays, do this, do that, make it look like a rock, but you can see from the inside. From the outside, you can see inside. I mean, shoot, endless application for uh, uh, glass. Sphere right there. Big old sphere, spherical object. And the eyes, of course, always the eyes. 